3, this is Bluebird, do you read? Over. This is Rhino 3, reading you loud and clear, Bluebird. Over. Rhino 3, change of plans. Jack Frost is heading for the Capache Kindergarten. ETA 3 hours, provide support for a helo. Over. We'll call Bluebird, we're moving out. ETA 2 hours, over and out. Jack Frost? That's an old nickname me and Boris gave Professor Semenov when we were still students. Could it be? He brought me here to Pripyat years ago. Helped me get Tatiana a position too. And now he works for NAR? He must have his reasons. And he's always been a brilliant scientist. He's still my best shot at finding Tatiana. I need to see him. Your old mentor, huh? Try and find him if you think it's important. Just be extra careful. I'm always careful, Olivier. You'll most likely have an escort. Try to sneak past. Don't go Rambo on them. Let's do this. Are we doing something or not? Duga, a huge, frightening monstrosity made of steel. The epitome of the Cold War and insatiable ambition. But what does it have to do with you or me? It's been so many years, but someone must remember Igor. Someone has to know. There must be some way to get you out of this. You're free to look for one. Just... Don't leave me hanging, huh?
be damned. I was sure I was a gunner. Thank you. Maybe be more careful from now on, hmm? I will. Listen, I'll remember your face. Uh, hopefully I can return the favor one day. Oh, I'll be damned. Maybe be more careful. I will. Listen up. Hello, fellow prospector. I'm looking for someone. A tall, hunched man with long brown hair. Maybe you've seen him. No, I'm sorry. What's this all about? I'm looking for my brother, Athanasius. He vanished without a trace a while back. I've been looking everywhere. I have a favor I'd like to ask you. What's on your mind, stranger? I came across an old safe, but I can't open it. You seem to know a thing or two about Locke, so I was wondering... Sorry, I need to focus on finding my brother, Athanasius. I can't afford any distractions. Let's see what you've got, pal. Do you have any... hotter stuff? I thought you would never ask. Safe travels, my friend. Oh, and take this. Perhaps it will come in handy.
Stop right there! You're on Primpy and Broad for turf now! Uh, so... Uh, anything interesting going on around here lately? Well, there's something fishy happening in the power plant. Those NAR fuckers have been running around like crazy lately. And there's this creepy fuck with a black mask hunting. He leaves me alone, but he's scared. So you... What did I just... You mentioned something about trade. What kind of things do you have? What about this, uh, box of loot? That'll be one food ration. Sure thing. There you go. It's just for you. I better be going now. Bradfall forever, Igor!
we run into some rabid dogs. I've always wanted to shoot a dog. What are you doing here, pal? Stay frosty, we're not alone here. This is the same music box I gave to Chana for her birthday. What's this? There's something clipped to the inside. Is this a bug? So, Tatiana was under KGB surveillance. Why? What did they want with her? Why did you come here? Recognize it. You wanted to talk. Let's talk. Not with me. The old fellow wanted you to see this first. You're running out of time. How did you get it? Not here. Meet me in the building next door in a couple of minutes. This just keeps getting better and better.
What took you so long? Did the tiny dancer get your attention? <laughs> Old man said it would. He's gotta test you before he decides if he likes you. Every fucking thing is a test with that crumbling fruitcake. But at least he pays well. Are you going to explain to me what this is all about? Captain Spastic said you'd recognize a big fucking radar assembly and that it means something to you. Then he mumbled something about the Rat King and the end of the world, but I don't think he was serious about that part. I came here to talk to the old man, not his errand boy. I'm going back. The fuck you say? You're a lucky son of a bitch. I'd mess you up, but then I wouldn't get paid. Now shut your fucking face and pay attention when your betters are talking. You've got a choice to make. It's easy. You can either use the detonator to blow this metal monstrosity to kingdom come, or you can use the other thingy to upgrade your PDA. That will improve the functionality of every scanner in the network. Why do I have to choose? Don't know. Don't care. I did my fucking job. Now you do yours. So, you want me to either blow up the Duga Raider installation or take this upgraded thingy instead? I don't want you to do anything. I told you. You just listen. It's him. Personally, I don't give a tart's fart what you do. My job here is done. Last piece of advice. This guy is crazy loco, sure. But there's always some kind of reason behind what he's doing. So, ask yourself, why would he want you to make this choice?
Do you uh, have a minute? For you, partner? Of course. I can't stop thinking about what happened to Anton. I know. I'm really sorry, Olivier. He was one of the good guys, you know. And my friend. I can't help but wonder... If we could have done something differently to save him? You know what I'm talking about, right? Only too well, Olivier. Only too well. Do you think you could find some... <laughs> uh, I don't... Maybe some other time. You're the boss. Can we swap some stuff? Sure. What's up, my bud? I was just thinking, Mikhail. How did you get to be so knowledgeable about herbs and plants? Why? What's so goddamn strange about that? I never said it was strange. I'm just curious. You created your own compendium. No small undertaking. Well, I studied a lot, you know. You studied botany? At what school? Best fucking school there is. The University of Life. I see. Give me that look. You can trust everything I wrote down, to the letter. I've always been into plants and mushrooms. All different kinds. Everything in my compendium has been tested by me personally. So if you've got a problem with any of it, you can stick it where the control rods don't shine. Really? But some of this stuff must be poisonous. Well, I have a strong stomach. But yes, I've had my share of accidents. Luckily for me, my stalker friends were there to save me. Adrenaline and gastric lavage are my bosom companions. Sounds serious. How else would I know what's edible? It's a little something I call the scientific method. You should check it out yourself sometime. Wait, aren't you a scientist? Ingesting unidentified plants and mushrooms doesn't sound like the scientific method. It sounds like suicide. But I'm here, though, am I not? That means I'm right. Okay, fine. I just hope my stomach is as strong as yours. Mikkel, you've been around. You could teach me something about survival. Perhaps a fucking lonely I'm gathering and prepare. Actually. Want to trade? Just make it fucking. Sir Kimanuk, Igor, are you there? 
Answer if you can hear me, please. Hello? Yes? Who's this? The name is Oga. I live in the village in Red Forest. I've heard about you. I think we can help each other. <laughs> I hear that a lot lately. I'm afraid you need to be more specific. Your distrust is understandable under the circumstances, but we have the same goal. Drive NER out of the zone. Well, I didn't come here to conduct a guerrilla war on corporate mercenaries. Yes, I know. You're looking for someone. So am I. Please come to our village in Red Forest so we can talk in person. Be extra careful on the way here, okay? The monsters, they mostly come out at night. Mostly. Who are you really? Some bushwhacking partisan? I'm Oga. Me and my father, Matt Bay, take care of the refugees and Samuel shells from the zone. That's all you need to know, for now. Please come to the village. This isn't just about me. You'd be doing the right thing as well. I'll make sure to stop by if I get the chance. Let's do this. Gorgi Semenov, a good old Jack Frost. You must wonder what happened to him all those years ago. Why would he work with the NAR, my love? Surely he must have a good explanation. He was always kind to us, 